Hi guys, so I'm here with my March favourites video. Um, March was, you know, a pretty quick month. It seemed to blink and it was over. Um, March was my birthday month. March was also um, my fiancé's birthday month. Um, we didn't get up to too much really, um, but we did go on his birthday, on his actual birthday. We went to a sing-along showing of The Greatest Showman, which was definitely a favourite for the month. It was so fun really random but really fun so we showed up um at the pavilion and it was packed so many people went and it did say um you know like fancy dress was encouraged but we were like how many people are actually gonna like dress up so many people dress up is the answer so many people and they did this whole thing beforehand where you know you had to go through and learn some dance moves and when certain stuff came on the screen like what to do and stuff um so overall it was a really really good night we sang our little hearts out and yeah it was it was really good really enjoyed that um so yeah i am another year older i feel another year older um <laughs> so that side of it's not so much favorite um so as for favorite books of the month i had a really good reading month if you read my wrap up like i read something like 13 books um it's quite hard to choose a favorite book of the month um I did enjoy the first three books in the Luke and Leah series by Sydney Landon. Those I really, really enjoyed. Um, and I also really enjoyed um, Your Love is Mine by Bella Andre. So I'd say like probably those were my favourite books of the month. I do have a favourite movie of the month. And that is I finally got to see um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Crimes of Grindelwald. And oh my god i loved it um so actually i watched it over the week over a weekend in march and i'd actually worked that weekend and then i finished work at about two in the afternoon and i was so tired and i was like okay i'm gonna go home <laughs> get the dog walked early in the afternoon i'm gonna get my pajamas on and i'm gonna watch this film and that's exactly what i did um and oh my god i loved it the beginning of it is so much darker well the whole film was a bit bit more dark but like just off the bat like the opening sort of sequence is quite dark um i kind of like albino johnny depp is just amazing as um grindelwald um i newt scamander just he's just so fun um i just i loved the movie so much um i've watched it um again actually as i'm recording this i watched it yesterday i made chase it and watched the whole thing with me again um i just really really loved that movie um similarly another favorite bit random um is this um and this is a harry potter mystery wand and me and my mum came across these and it's funny because i bought one for myself but she bought one as part of Shay's birthday present and they come sort of like this and then they come again with like a uh, sort of cellophane on um so you have literally no idea which wand you're getting and like i said it's a choice of nine so i bought one but i didn't say anything until Shay like got his um and he opened it and he actually got um this wand he got voldemort's wand um they're not the same sort of quality as the ones that you would get um from the studios um, you know like the official like 30 pound one um but they are not bad and anyway he got this one but he actually already has voldemort's wand because um i bought it for him from the harry potter studios not um the christmas just gone but the christmas before so he already has this wand so i gave him the one that i got we swapped um and i ended up with um i got hermione's wand so luckily we both didn't get the same one but it's not um it's not a bad replica um and it does feel quite sturdy um and it's like i said to shay like his wand that i bought was 30 pounds i would never feel like comfortable like like dressing up or going around the studios like waving it and stuff i'd be worried i would break it whereas this one feels like like you would actually potentially cosplay cosplay with it because it's a bit like sturdier i guess um but yeah that they were really really fun um, like I said, I've got quite a few random favourites this month, guys. Um, I start off um, for my birthday. I had a new Pandora bracelet. Um, it's a bangle 
Um, and it's a Disney one, so oh, this, they, it never shows up very well on camera. Um, and the ends, one is uh, Mickey Mouse, one is Minnie Mouse, um, and it's like an open bangle. And then um, I have ooh, a Dumbo charm. Oh, this is really difficult. The light on the silver. I have a Dumbo charm, I have a Pinocchio charm, and I have um, a Lilo and Stitch charm. So it just goes on like so um it is a bit big at the moment um i did get measured for it um and they said you know do you want it just as the bangle are you or are you going to put charms on it and i said i'm going to put charms on it um so i had to size up because basically once it has charms on it um obviously it will um fit better but at the moment i'm a bit scared to wear it because i feel like it's going to ping off um but yeah i really really love that and that's like a combined present from my grandparents and my mum and then I have a, a, a uh, I can't speak a favorite perfume and it's this one it's Anna Sui um, Romantica Exotica I think it's called um, and the bottle is so pretty it's this beautiful like gr mintish green which is like my favorite color um, but I actually bought this with a gift card my brother gave me a gift card to TK Maxx and then I just went and had a perusal and this was in there um it's very summer very tropical smelling that's all I got I can't describe it in any other way but it's so nice and like it was 13 pounds so I still have money on my gift card but yeah it smells really really nice and I've been wearing it a lot and I've been complimented on it as well people asking me what is that and I'm like huh, you know it's perfume <laughs> um the next favorite that I've got I'm wearing today I don't know how well you're gonna see because the lighting is a bit dodge um but it's a highlight um and it's the Ciate London Jessica Rabbit highlight um it's so pretty um I am denied whether to get this or not but then in the end I just caved um the packaging is so beautiful just look at her like oh god i wish i was just a good rabbit um and then the inside if i can open it it's got the um it's got the same sort of picture as the outside um but it's this goldish whitish yellowish gold it's so pretty um i don't know how well again it will come up there but it's so pretty and I feel like so wearable as well um I love it um before getting this highlighter the only highlighter that I was really reaching for was my Ofra one um but now like I love I love them both this one the Ofra one is more blinding like in your face this one is still there but it's not as pow so this is for more like my my subtle days I'm gonna say um um a couple of things that i picked up from primark that are favorites this month a stitch cushion now i saw this on instagram and i immediately was like i need it um i kept checking primark no sign of it no sign of it and then suddenly um there was a friday where i, I left work um i was allowed to leave slightly earlier um and i thought on my journey home i would stop off at a different primark and that's what i did and they had it and i was like yes like just look isn't he cute i love stitch um so when i saw him i was like need to need to get him he was like eight pounds which is not that bad when you think about it uh just checking i'm not missing anything oh another thing i picked up in primark actually was this headband um and it's like a mustard coloured headband. I'm all about these headbands. I've had a couple of them in previous videos and stuff. I do love them. So when I saw that they had a mustard one. I was like, need. Um, and then I think my last favourite really is this. This was also from Primark. Um, and it's this. It's to celebrate um, 30 years of The Little Mermaid. Um, and so basically it's just a sort of ceramic shell. Um, and this bit like is the pearl bit and it's a light I don't know how well it's going to show up in the daylight um, oh, not very well at all but it colour changes this light colour changes um, and it looks so effective at night it's so beautiful um, and my mum actually loved it so much she bought one herself <laughs> um, 
so yeah, and it's got a little picture of Flounder and Sebastian on there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all of my favourites for this month, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.